What's going on guys? I'm going to use this 2006 Crown Vic to help you troubleshoot the cooling fan. So the first thing for you to check is the 50 amp J case fuse right here. This provides power to the cooling fan control module, which is actually a part of the cooling fan assembly. So check this fuse out. You can actually look down through it to see if it's blown or not. As you can see, this one is intact. Now, as far as removing it, real simple to do, although it is hard to do without damaging the top of the fuse. You basically grab either side of the fuse here and you're gonna want to wiggle it while you pull straight up. Now, don't be alarmed if the plastic piece just snaps off or breaks. Happens all the time. And you, this is what a good one looks like. But uh, some people like to remove them so they can check them with the voltmeter. So that's the fuse. Now that provides constant power to this control assembly there. So you can see there's three wires that go to it. The larger red black wire carries the power from that 50 amp fuse I pointed out to you. And the black wire should go directly to a ground. And this little squiggly baby red wire here, that actually communicates with the powertrain control module. So the powertrain control module sends a signal to this in order to, for it to command the fan. And this is the, uh, the output. So this is what actually goes to the fan motor. And it's helpful to check to see if uh, the fan's getting voltage or not. Uh, the, the voltage comes out of here and goes to the fan. If I'm not mistaken, this whole thing is an assembly. Now, the main way that the engine decides whether or not to run the fan is from input from the engine cylinder head temperature sensor. And to get to this, you've got to pretty much remove the alternator. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you the alternator removal, but I am going to show you how to test it. So if you have an ohm meter, you can disconnect it and you're going to take a reading off of those two pins. So you're measuring for resistance, you're measuring ohms. And I've got three values written down here. So at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, you should be reading 37,000 ohms. If you're at 104 degrees Fahrenheit, you should be reading 16,000 ohms. And if the engine is at 194 degrees, you should be reading 2.75 kilo ohms. So they should be close. The numbers should be close to this. So yeah, I hope this info is helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or let me know if you have any advice for troubleshooting the cooling fans or an overheat condition on your Ford Crown Vic. Thanks for watching.